Hey, what is up guys? I break here and welcome to a brand new Call of Duty commentary. I know it's been a while since I did one of them, but the truth is I haven't really been playing Call of Duty all bunch. I feel like Call of Duty is being a bit boring lately because of the fact that way too many people play with C4 and stuff. It's not really nice when people play with C4 because... I don't know about you guys, I feel like that thing is like the most overpowered thing ever and honestly, people nowadays just only care about getting kills and stuff. So... They don't even realize, most people don't even realize when you work out because they're like, I'm gonna use this, you get a bunch of kill, get a good KD, KD. Who cares about your KD if you use shit like that? Personally, who cares about KDs anyways? I personally learned lesson that the less you care about your KD, the better you're gonna get at the game because you're not gonna be a little bitch coming in the corner because, you know, oh my KD! And you're gonna take a bit more risk and you're also gonna get the, the reward for it, you're gonna get more kill because you're gonna take risk and talk about them. Taking risk here, I, funny enough, I didn't really take that many risks in this game because I got stuck in that freaking room for the very beginning because, like, I mean, t teammates were just... Just everybody was just getting fed in that room. Just, I mean, everybody was trying to be out for blood or something. They were all trying to get to me or something. And that's the thing here. Usually when I sit in the same place for a little while, it's usually because it just... Everybody just happened to be there. I don't really like staying in the same place for the same long while because it makes me nervous. And when I get nervous, I usually do spin this thing, and I usually get kill myself kill. And that's the sad thing about it. Also, let's see SMR. The SMR is pretty slow to read. I usually put a... Um, I was actually messing around with SMR. I usually even go for Yotex site, and my buddy Targ got a, got a freaking Blackbird. Targ is great. I still got, still playing with Targ in this game. Right now he's first. Don't worry, guys. I'll try to get him. Get back on him for that one. And, funny enough... This game, the way, had, the way it ended, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but you'll see. Something really funny happened at the end. So, meanwhile, the, the, v, the v says down. The VSAT, best kill streak ever, in my opinion. That thing is just, when you got that down, you pretty much guaranteed to at least get like a minute or two of being invincible. Unless you get caught by a Rivington or some kind of really stupid weapon like that. You can pretty much get killed. But the, the VSAT, freaking great. Once one buddy get like my buddy Tar got got one got his, so I got mine as well. So we all popping VSAT all over the place. So it's really nice because as long as we can get the VSAT uh, support, we're pretty much won this. It's really hard to break a VSAT. The best thing if you want to break a VSAT, the best thing to do it is look at your teammate and always make sure you have somebody behind you. So if he dies, you just turn around and shoot again in the face. It's kind of and I got a pretty lucky there. It's it was thing it's kind of new to actually like wait for your teammate to get to die in front of you, but that's the, the sad truth about the VSAT. You are dis you are the disadvantage there, so use every tactic in the book except don't use really shitty tactics like C4 because in my opinion you're just gonna be a noob. But um, use every tactic in the book to actually give yourself live, and the best thing is to use your teammates as a bit of a meat shield. Use your teammates to. That was unlucky. Use your teammate to be able to uh, put a distance between you and the enemies, and if you, your teammate dies, you know they're coming from there. And also, if you've got spy planes, it's time to put it down. Spy planes will may, will dampen the effect of a VSAT by a lot. A lot. Not kidding. And if you have a continuous V, well, just duke it out, dude. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Uh, those guys are gonna be pretty mad at because of that. Another thing I gotta mention here is that teammate just saved me. It's pretty rare. Usually green arrows mean you're deaf. But another thing you, you really um, gotta notice there is that I'm playing what I call I'm gonna mess with your radar uh, type thingy. Messing with your radar basically implies spy plane cutter, spy plane blackbird. Why that's a combo? Because it's a combo that makes you a lot of points, you get a your kill strike very fast, you can loop your kill strike very fast, but mostly you always have the upper hand of all your teammates. You see where enemies are, they don't. They're, they're countered, they don't see shite. And also, you got a VSAT, so you p can pinpoint them anywhere they go. You always there. You know where they're coming from, and they don't. They don't see Jack because their radar is fucked. And that's pretty much what I like about about playing with that with the with the thing. And was that the first VSAT? Maybe it was the second. I don't even know. I didn't even care. I it there. Uh, but yeah, it's basically it. Once you get the, that, once you play with that, you pretty much won't be able to do anything. And Freaking Targ! I'm just gonna say freaking Targ that one. I got t got 3,950 points. He got 3,960 points. I got one kill more than he does, but he got two assists more than I do. So he got he got he got away with the assist on that one. With that one assist that made him win first, even though he had 23 and five and I had 24 and one. Freaking. 
Star the Great. You, dude, you just troll me so bad on that one. You don't even know. And, again, funny enough, our team just didn't do anything. I mean, our team got like 9 5, 6 and 5. Then 6 and 5. Holy cow, didn't do anything. Didn't get anything. We ate all the chips, me and my buddy Targ. Oh well. My buddy Targ got a few clips together. I got another thing that might show up later where we win a. Um, where we got two swarm in one game, me and him, and we pretty much win the armor's game at lightning speed on, the, on that one. So. I guess I'll show it one day. Anyways, was all right here. Sign off. Hope you enjoyed, guys, and like always, see you later.